hello there YouTube man oh man welcome to a 64 degree Thursday the 28th of April I think it's gonna be close to 90 today <laughs> it's gonna be a cooker not a cloud in the sky it is amazing just birds and hear all the bees buzzing around already feels like the beginning of a nice summer day Welcome to Friday. Holy moly. So in an attempt to lessen some of that torque twist, they'll just, they'll just rock down on one of the back wheels as you're going up a hill and just literally twist a, the, one of the front wheels in the air. You guys seen it when I was going up the, um, the little ramp out there. So if you notice, it's sitting lower. It was sitting about like that which that's really not scale this is this is very scale looking this is how you would see one of these things going down the road back in the day well they're still around but um yeah it's pretty easy to do i didn't change shocks they're 100 millimeter shocks and uh i see where a lot of people put 90 millimeter shocks on there well there's an adjustment you can make with the <laughs> with the sock suspension, but in a full articulation, you may get a little um, rub in the fender, but it's it's light. Oh, so I told you about that steering servo, or it's a servo, but it's a it's a winch. You're just using a servo to do it. So uh, I was going, what am I going to use for a fair lead up front? You guys remember I ordered two of those metal fair leads for the Bronco when I was putting that on, the winch on it? It fits perfect. Just unbolt the license plate up front. And hidden behind there is if I think I told you guys about that, is a fair lead hole. It's designed to have a winch, to have a servo winch installed. Oh, let me show you the one I ordered by mistake. The other one is um, showing up today, the correct one. So this is a standard sized servo. Use a servo horn. <laughs> well, a, a, a servo winch is the same size as this. Well, there's different sizes, but this is standard. This will bolt right in the truck. Um, and it uses a spool and it can, you know, run infinitely around. This is a, I think this is a 180, maybe it's a 270, but anyway, it has a timer. It'll stop itself. It, it can't go all the way around. There's a switch in there. It stops it. Well, <clears throat> the servo doesn't have the, the winch servo doesn't have that switch. Um, I ordered by mistake a mini winch servo so <laughs> it'll bolt right in the front of the truck here and feeds through this thing sits in the truck upside down and the winch is you know inside the truck and then you have the the wire and everything coming out the out the front there but yeah that one's that was a little too small it's so cool. I keep thinking there might be something I could do with this thing. I just don't know what. But, uh, yeah. But the correct one's coming. It's another Reeves RC one. And, um, it looks, look how part of the motor or something hangs out because these things build a lot of heat. That's a built in heat sink. How cool is that? I don't know what I'll do with that thing, but that's really cool. Go to put the steering servo on. Almost everything is a 25 tooth steering horn. Well, this one's 23. So I go, I was just about to take transmission apart. I thought, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead while the stock radio is all hooked up? I'll switch the dig servo over to one that's a little more durable. And uh, same thing, the spool for the dig servo is um, is a coarse threads. 
and the ones you get, I don't think they even list the, the or teeth. They don't even list the teeth on them. They're so standard. It's just not a, it's a non-issue thing. So anyway, I was setting the endpoints because I'm using the Fly Sky, which by the way, is a Red Cat, Red Cat product. This is a six channel, it's called the Fly Sky GT5. You think you call it the GT6 if it's a six channel radio. Very premium compared to the ready to run radios that come with the with the units. And this is a really a budget um, unit in comparison. I mean, you can spend four or five, you can go way up there. You get those Futabas and all that stuff, they get up there. But um, anyway. But very, very high reviews. I see people using them like all the time. So they must be reliable and robust and they do the job. So anyway, I had to set the endpoints with this radio and receiver. And um, I got the um, dig servo off a little bit. I immediately put my little zip tie steering knob on there. I can pretty much drive this thing without it. I was a goof around the house. I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and put the little zip tie on there. So no servo, no second gear, because I got to use the servo, one of the servo, about two of the same. Normally that's okay. I'm just not ready to throw, throw the Bronco on the deck just yet. That's called a, in the crawling world, that's called a hand of God uh, penalty. Use winches, whatever you can. Don't reach down and grab it. Watch immediately, it didn't kick that left rear wheel up as high. Because I've lowered it. I didn't measure it. It's probably about 10 or 11 uh, millimeters doing that lowering. You see, I'll ha I have rock lights. Anyway, um, a lot of disappointments in the, the thing with the servos not working. So I got returned servos, three servos. Um, the little connector cat kit that I got, I was telling you, I, I can use my um, anything with an XT60 plug to fit, you know, um, IC3 or EC3 connectors. <laughs> I, I ordered that wrong too. I got it reversed. Everything's backwards of what I need it to do. So... I have, I stole the, because that was, everything's got a battery in it. We have to stop buying trucks so I can catch up on my batteries. But other than that, um, love the truck, playing around the house, that fusion motor. You know, it, it just freaks me out when I go into the settings and adjust everything that you're missing so much. You only got nine instead of 13 settings. And um, kind of one of the things that control with the brakes, I'm like, man... That alone was almost worth double the price, but it is has half the price of the Fusion Pro. And it does a good job. Because I got this thing cheap. Well, in the end, I might not. I I seriously think I have a second one coming. And because they're discontinued and they're never going to be available again, as long as I, I forgot to look at my credit card too, as long as uh, the... Uh, the price is the same as this. I don't care. I'll just leave it in the box. Or pull it out like Kelly or I'd just leave one completely stock and then go crazy modding the other one. If at that point I kind of wish I put the Fusion Pro in there. Because it's this is 1800 kilovolts. The Fusion Pro is 23. So you get quite a bit more wheel speed out of it. So that second gear would be a hooligan thing. And this setup has... Um, vehicle stability control it even have a, has an abs feature in it i've got everything off because it's just a rock crawler it goes slow but it's a uh, got some pretty pretty cool high-end stuff for a little tiny tiny receiver anyway a lot of cool stuff way more cool the stuff i'm doing to it that was the frustrating frustrating things and then the thing with the battery where they're using a proprietary plug that they own, and they're pushing it, but there's kind of a walk around or work around. I just made a mistake on how I ordered them, so not being negative on the truck. A couple little weird things. I hate when someone kind of, you know, 
propri proprietary plugs and stuff that forces you to, to go in here. This one will remind you that it's been sitting here for a while, too. But anyway, let's ride around. Quit talking. It's hot out here. I feel like my it's harder to talk, so it's probably not a safe, <laughs> safe thing. It's, it's a, like telltale sign. Dude, get inside. I haven't had the air conditioner going. I was noticing this in the house too, the the precision of the steering and especially the throttle. Ooh, so much nicer. And then of course you got that fusion motor. Uh, and I thought I had a cheat sheet for that thing. Look, no brakes. That's 100% trail braking. But that teaches you bad habits because you don't even hit the brakes anymore. Yeah, I have the the progression how, of how it goes on, what speed it applies it, how quick it does, I guess. I've, I've learned bad habits to just let go of the throttle as my brakes instead of using the brakes as the brakes. But look at that fusion motor. Oh, yeah, it did lower... Lower the whole chassis, so there'll be certain things it's going to bottom out on. But the scale, oops, the scale look of it sitting at that. There you go. You can see the rock lights now. But the scale look just makes it worth being lowered a little bit. I mean, that just absolutely looks proper. I think it was about the same size as a scale. BF Goodrich uh, KM3s that I got, you remember? If those are the same size, I know they're 19, 1.9, um, but those, the outside diameter, those seem awfully small. Those uh, BF Goodrich tires would look good on there, but I think they still might be smaller than this. Not having the portals on this thing, not once has become a problem. Well, the front diff is offset, you know, like a real truck. So you can, it's easy to avoid certain things. Oh, uh, I think I said that earlier, but the, uh, I got D rings along with the correct, um, steering serve, steering servo winch, just servo winch. Um, I have, uh, the D rings. I think I did tell you about that. It's the same ones that are on the, F-150, or the, not the F-150, but the um, TRX-4 Sport. Because them plastic ones were almost see-through, and I, I thought, that looks kind of cheesy. Get in the spot here where we can do dig. So I just programmed it to switch three, so it's, a, it's basically a on off well in this case it's on off one swings the servo one way and the other one swings it back you just got to set your endpoints because apparently these servos can can burn up so what you do you activate dig and you can make a full turn and watch what it does it allows it to kind of swivel on itself probably not the best thing in rocks but you get the gist of it. That's what dig does for you. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Oh, it's going to bottom out on this. Yeah. Just got to be mindful how you approach and gather up on things. Which would be more of a challenge with this now that I've uh, lowered it. Now that front wheel, it's going inside the fender wheel. It's it's doing what it should. Oh, it's stay on, stay on. Something's, something's rubbing somewhere. I'll have to investigate that. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I did not do the steering endpoints. Yeah, that is, that's a steering endpoint problem. I'll adjust it, we'll fix it. 
really enjoying this thing. There's just something about that thing. Oh, I need to get inside. My brain's starting to melt out here. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it's 10 minutes after 8, and it's still 71 degrees out here. It's crazy. That's nuts. April. Yeah, can be this out. Yeah. Nice weather. She can also snow, which yeah. she has. Oh, yeah. Crazy snow we've had before in April. Yeah. Just Gosh, a and Annie weeks out there ago. having a ball. So uh, we'll do this goodbye. I got one little thing I'm not completed with. I was trying to get it before it got dark. But I uh, want to do the goodbye while we're still in the sun. Well, light. Oh Sun's down. But uh, anyway, I got something really cool. I'm just not. i not finished with it yet. It's with the stuff that Kelly brought on that showed up today. Very cute. Like, yeah. So, uh, anyway, Mama's got stuff on the stove. And she's going, where did I do this while it's daylight? That's an ultralight flying. I can yeah. hear it. Yeah, it's way cool. Yeah. But anyway... We're going to roll out on the day. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Bye-bye now. There he is up there. He's probably about 200 feet or so up there. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks for hanging on for a second. I need to show you one more thing with the old Bronco here. Oh, almost drove the thing off the... Yeah, <laughs> there went that wheel. Let's still see if this is funky or not. Whoa, that's like really bright. But uh, there's the rock lights. You can clearly see them in the, in the dark. There's my D-rings on there. There. Is a winch. Oh, you know what? I can't do it one-handed. So I got to kind of pull on it. Because I need to take some of the um, cable off of it. It's filling the spool up. So I need to shorten the cable. I went to all that trouble and got nice and crimped. And everything done just right. Yeah, buddy. And that, that winch, that thing is strong. Heck of strong. <laughs> and this is the this is the one controlling the um the winch forward forward is out where it's at is neutral now and back is in that's my dig button oh by the way it wasn't the steering trim these little that uh, the end points I had these tags facing out and the tires were rubbing and um Anyway, there's your steering trim, throttle trim. That one's set up for the lights. Um, six is set up to nothing. So I still have two channels available because I was I wide everything off with the lights. So the the these lights just come on. There's no controlling it. Well, because the lights switch colors, I set it to number five, and it has a sensor wire that can control it. She looks like on the other side. Real nice beefy suspension links. But everything all, all went together nice and neat. I'm very happy. I just wish I had my shift servos and we could get a two-speed transmission going. Steering servo seems fine. But uh, anyway, I had a new one. There we are. The nuance of the evening. <laughs> All right, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching.